So again, Japan, I think you're more influential than you think you are. And there's tons of other words that Konnichiwa minasan, kyo desu. Interesting video topic I have today. Five Japanese words that Americans use in everyday language that we didn't know, or at least I didn't know, was Japanese. Number one, rickshaw. Most Americans have no clue that this originated in Japan. To be honest, it was a shock knowing that rickshaw was, a, was the Japanese words. I mean, since I was a kid, I would always see it in textbooks and history books on TV and different other cultures as well. But I had no idea that this system was created in Japan. And looking back, it seems so obvious now because in Japan, when I went to Japan, I saw a lot of like rickshaw carts that would, you know, transport people. But to me, it's a crazy thing that this was a Japanese word. I had no clue. Hancho. This also was a shocking one because we have a phrase in America we use called head honcho. Like he's the head honcho, which basically means like you're the man or you're the boss or you got the top spot or you're the best, you know, like you're like the head honcho. And seeing how honcho was also a Japanese word that means a very similar thing. It was crazy because I've, a lot of Americans say this a lot since they were young, but we didn't know it was a Japanese word. And it's even used a lot in hip hop lyrics as well. So that's another word that we adopted from Japan that a lot of Americans don't know is Japanese. Number three, haiku. This to me was shocking to me years ago because haiku were, was something that a lot of young kids were learn about in school, in poetry class or in English class about uh, the structure of a poem and how haiku is like a, a, a specifically structured poem. My first exposure to this word was actually a video game I played called Spiral the Dragon. Uh, it was Spiral Year of the Dragon, it was the third game. And there's a level in that game where, which all the characters spoke in haiku. But I didn't learn until years ago that this was actually a Japanese style of poem, which kind of blew my mind. And to me, it just made me wonder how many things that have we adopted from Japan that has been so accustomed in American culture that we don't know it's from a foreign culture. But that was also a big one for me, even though it probably seems obvious for you guys, but for an American, nah. Number four, tycoon. Again, this blew my mind because we also use a phrase in English called business tycoon which also means someone who is in business or who is wealthy or someone with a lot of power. And I know in, in Japanese, tycoon also means like a political leader. We oftentimes say, yeah, he's a business tycoon. Yeah, he's a, one of the biggest business tycoons, you know, like it's so custom in how we speak in everyday language. But again, that was a word I didn't know was originated in Japan. I don't know, Japan is a way of uh, developing a lot of good words that everyone seems to use, I don't know. And number five, origami. This one probably seems very obvious to you guys, but origami is also a type of art that we learn in American schools at a very young age, but we're not really taught the origin of different things. So, so it's not like they really teach us that origami is from Japan. It's just something that we just learned. Hey, this is origami. And I always thought that origami was an American thing. And it wasn't until recently, a few years ago, I actually learned it's another style of Japanese art. So again, Japan, I think you're more influential than you think you are. And there's tons of other words that also we use in English. If you guys are interested in us doing a part two, let us know. We'll be more than happy to create another video displaying Japanese words that we use in English. <laughs> so if you guys like the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Arigatou gozaimasu, minna. Kiyotsukete. Nijane.